end of the nation is very close, Vern. You are very confident about your triumph. Until we open the chest, we won't know for sure if the compass of destiny is really inside. The chest is in perfect shape after 2,000 years under the sea. No human technology can do that. It's Atlantean, that's for sure. The ship, the inscriptions, all the pieces fall into place. The compass of destiny is inside. We are going to change the course of this goddamn war, Vern. We're going to change history. Take it to Mr. Vern's lab and start maneuvers to ascend for air recycling. This discovery will change it all. March 25th, 1888. Scientific Officer Log. It's a great day for the captain, who has asked me to begin documentation while he delivers a speech to the crew in the library. After months of searching, at last he found it. He doesn't have the slightest doubt that the compass of destiny is in his hands. An old artifact that, once released from inside this chest, it is supposed to guide us safe and sound to the flame of Hephaestus, the most powerful energy source in the world. The deadbolt has a complex defensive system and the... Vern here. Vern, quick! The nation is attacking us! Not a single Atlantean piece can fall into their... Mon dieu! Merde! 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 I must hurry to recover the iMac. It, it's inside of the armory's safe room, and wait there. It's the safest place around. I must hurry to the armory. I must hurry to the armory. Merde! The elevators are disabled. No! Blocked! There's only one way to the armory. Going outside. Going down, it's not the answer. It's a cul-de-sac. Useless gear ball. Why don't you open?
Oh, mon dieu! Adam and Sean! This is a massacre! But wait! These bullet wounds on Sean. There are no blood drops around. He was shot after he was dead. That's disconcerting. I must hurry to the army. It's jammed. I have to go down to the armory. Maybe I can open the safety hatches from the bridge. These elevators don't work either. It's Bern! Is somebody there? No foes here. Adriel, where is everybody? And Nadine? The pilot has disappeared. Very likely she has been captured with the others at the library. What happened? How is that even possible that... I don't know. The server radars didn't work. Nothing has worked. They crushed us. Damn Raven. The Raven? Mert! Well... That's not the worst of all. The captain has activated the Nautilus self-destruction. What? He will never let his technology fall into the hands of the nation. How much time do we have? Less than ten minutes. Mon dieu! You are the second in command. Can't you disactivate it? Only Nemo knows the code. He told me to protect the bridge to speed away as soon as we release ourselves. But the engines are currently paralyzed until the captain reactivates the core. That's why we're still outside. Oh my god! What will we do? You are the only one who can do something. What? The only what? I'm not a soldier. Well, now you must become one. I will open the hatches to the armory chamber. Once there, take the iMag and do whatever you can to save the Nautilus. B the iMag? It's not a weapon. We barely know how to use it or what it can do. What if it sinks us? What do you fancy more? A quick death beneath the sea or a long life of tortures at one of the nation's penitentiary mines? <laughs> Move! Move! I still have some stuff to do. He grabbed that paper with his last strength. It's bloodied. I'm coming, I'm coming! Uh, armory here? Orders show that the Raven has cornered the captain and the engine core. Go there. I will open the hatch. And what am I supposed to do? Think. You figure something out. You're an imaginative guy. Merde. The ceiling kept withstanding. Hmm, that paper. I could 
try with the iMac. Before dying, he released a paper he was holding in his hand. Locked. Maddie is so good stacking supplies that not even the bombs could have moved them. The explosions didn't affect the room. I still have some stuff to do. Blocked! I can only use the iMag if I know the possible options. I must find another way inside. Before dying, he left the emergency hatch open. Fire at will! Watch the flanks! Come on, protect the core! Don't let them take it over! It doesn't work! It must have run out of energy. I could fix the electric board. Watch the flanks! You just don't know when to surrender. Isn't that so? Of course not. I still have to finish your face. The Nautilus is at last in the nation's hands. Tell me how to deactivate the self-destruction and... Take my word as a gentleman. I will free your crew. Ha! <laughs> gentlemen. I saw in the penitentiary mind what to free means to you, you damn sadist. I will die before releasing the Nautilus to your masters. It's a shame to end our relationship like this, but... Wish granted, Captain. This time you will not escape. Brothers, take aim! No! What am I doing? Vern? What are you doing? What the... Oh, you must be Mr. Vern, and that... thing you're threatening me with is the amazing Atlantean artifact I've heard so much fuzz. Me? Release them and get out! Don't move! Get back! 60 seconds to self-destruction! 60 seconds to self-destruction! Don't be stupid, Nemo! 
Stop the countdown before we all die. No. Then say goodbye to your dear Van. No! My mind was dragged again to the bridge, an image that was torturing me over the last months. I didn't wake up until a few hours later, a time that surely Nemo felt was like an eternity. Captain, my take is that the only way to open it safely is exposing it to the iMag. Are you sure? This dead bolt is a piece made by Phobos priests. Their devices were famous for being impenetrable, forged with the remainders of a meteorite. If anyone messes with it, it will launch a discharge of an energy that will cause a deep, infinite terror to whoever receives it. An energy that causes terror? That's preposterous! Maybe for you, but for the Atlanteans, the power of Phobos was real enough. Do you think that fear, destructive imagination, and hopelessness don't exist? Not presented in the shape of fireworks and sparks. If you don't believe me, feel free to break the chest with a crowbar. <sighs> How can the iMag open it? The iMag feeds itself with Mr. Verne's imagination and uses it to creatively change our reality. Therefore, it's a positive force, directly opposed to the kind of energy that the deadbolt uses. I'm reasonably convinced that the energy of the iMag will nullify the one in the lock. You mean, like sand and rust? Could be. The deadbolt is a rusty key, and the iMag, the sand that wipes away when scrubbed. Do it, Vern. What the...? What now? The iMac. It... it doesn't work. It looks like it ran out of energy. That explosion must have dried it up. You must make it work. We must release the Compass of Destiny from this chest. Shouting at me won't help. Adriel, go and look for Petrov. May he bring the torch and... Captain, I must advise against Force opening the chest. Unless you want to lose your mind, what is imperative now is to find an answer to why the iMag is dead. If you have any theory, spit it out now. It's possible that, given that the iMag gets its energy from the imagination of its host, the problem is inside your mind, Vern. In my mind? Yes, that's true. You talked about hallucinations. Y yes. For an instant, I travelled back to a bridge in Paris. I had a similar vision at the island. Do you remember seeing something like this in your vision? It certainly has a likeness with the shadow I saw at the bridge, but... Are you telling me that I saw Phobos, the Atlantean god of fear? Fear is a narrow description of what Phobos really meant to the Atlantean people. For them, he was the destructive imagination, the one born out from despair and angst. You could also say that his sister Placea, however, represented fantasy. But the truth was that she was perceived as the source of the creative imagination, the one that thrives from hope. I think that Atlanteans believed that the balance between the two brothers dictated one's own sanity. If Phobos has broken that balance in your mind, that would explain the iMag silence. Mythology? You're talking about mythology? I don't believe in Phobos, hence it's impossible that it's harming me. The thing here is, you are afraid. Too much fear inside you. Until you don't master it, I'm afraid that the iMag will never work again. I refuse to believe in Hocus Pocus. And how can you explain the iMag blast? It saved your life. I don't question that the Atlantean technology doesn't work. What I mean is that- Enough with the debate! 
We are losing precious time. What matters is that the iMag only works with you. It's obvious that your hallucinations are a symptom of some kind of disorder. Visit Dr. Cedric and get yourself a neurological check. That's an order. All right. You, Adriel, check the reparations. We must keep afloat for two days until we get to the base. We must assume that Commander Hetzel is not far from us. Yes, Captain. Why are you still here? Aren't you bothered by the way we were attacked? They fell upon us too easily. It's more than probable that there is a traitor on board. A traitor? In the Nautilus? Never! I have personally chosen each member of this crew. There is no question that the nation has found a way to decode our communications. Um, I envy your confidence, Captain. But you should be aware that during the attack, I found that someone shot Shun's body after his death. I believe that the murderer was trying to hide the fact that he was killed before the boarding. God damn it. Let's keep our eyes opened. If there is a traitor in such a small space, he or she will be exposed sooner or later. God damn it! Nonsense. I may have my issues, but Atlantean magic. Come on. Let's go to deck three to see Doc. It doesn't work. Nemo's organ has always fascinated me, and also gives me chills, just like the captain. It doesn't work. I can't reach the sick bay. I'll go to the bridge and see if Nadine can help me. Mr. Vern, don't come any closer. These cargo exhausts are quite damaged, and you could breathe polluted air. I will, but what about you, Sue? Don't worry. I'm used to it, and it takes a big deal of carbon dioxide to knock me down. Will they hold until we reach the base? I'm working on it. They must hold. Without them, we couldn't breathe. I'll stop bothering you. Good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks. I will need it. Nadine is always reading these penny dreadfuls. Awfully boring literature, so to speak. Jules, good to see you. Nadine, I'm glad you're alive. I have a big headache thanks to a rifle butt, but I'm in one piece, not like this melting piece of junk. It is still a striking piece of junk. That's because I'm the one who steers it, babe. The attack has been more of an ambush. Don't you agree? They were waiting for us. Did any radio message come out the days before? You must have seen it. Negative. Ten days ago, the captain imposed silence at the Nautilus. Nothing comes in, neither out. Is there any radio channel 
that avoids the primary systems. Nemo's personal telecommunicator is the only one that holds the codes. He uses it for his business with the resistance cells. You were a part of one of these cells, isn't that so? <laughs> you can bet your ass. I never had eaten more mud in my fucking life. We traveled fast through Emira, no more than three days in the same spot. We stole from the nation everything that wasn't hammered to the ground. The good thing about that is that I barely knew the war front. And then the Nautilus. Think about it. A toddler like me, recruited by the Nautilus. I would have done anything Nemo asked me. Not anymore. Well, I've been locked here for a while, fighting. And I feel that there's a lot of things outside that I'm missing out. Fighting tyranny is a horrible job, but someone has to do it. Yes, yes, I know. I came for a more mundane issue. Can you activate the elevators for a moment? I must reach the sick bay. Of course, um, I hope you're fine. I will give you a few seconds of energy. We are so low at fuel that even seals pass us. God, what I'd give for being shopping in New York. Hello, Assistant Sarah. Are the navigation systems holding up? Barely. I am patching up all I can to allow Nadine to pilot. I'm sorry, Monsieur Verne. I cannot help you now. These systems require my full attention. Fern, you are here. The Nemiogram isn't prepared yet. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. How are you? I felt better before my conversation with Nemo. He's getting more nervous each day. <laughs> that happens to all of us. What's this device? Nemiogram? A memory writer? That's it. I designed it months ago, but I hadn't the chance to test it. It induces a deep hypnosis trance to a patient, and it's ideal to explore the blocked corners inside his or her mind, theoretically. Theoretically? Yes. Your checkup from after the boarding shows no brain damage, nor blood clots that explain your hallucinations. So I decided to try an alternative approach. Hypnosis? Why? The iMag and you are linked by imagination. Doctor, that sounds terribly unscientific. Call it in brainwaves or whatever you like. The undeniable matter here is that the iMag only works with your brain. The Raven attack provoked a trauma, and because of that, the iMag doesn't work anymore. And how is this machine supposed to cure me? It will not cure you. My intention with the Nemiogram is to discover what happened to you at that island. You have told me many times that although you don't hold any memory of that episode, you believe that there is where you found the iMag and suffered your first bridge hallucination. Maybe the memory of the events you experienced at the island holds the answer, or at least a clue that will help us to cure your malady and the captain's concerns. A very interesting hypothesis, but frankly, Doc, are you sure that you aren't going to fry my brains? Of course not. Theoretically. I guess we'll be able to find out about it. Relax while I finish the adjustments. I don't even know what that is anymore. So, how's the vaccine? Intact, at least. Luckily, the nation minions didn't make it to here. On the other hand, my research is absolutely at a standstill. Cholera is an extremely resistant bacteria. Each day, more and more people die from it. For what I've been informed, 
The horror I lived in India is nothing compared to what is going on right now among the workers of the nation's factories. You know you have me here for whatever you need. In the event I survive this machine, of course. Someone around here has told me a story about you facing the Bloody Raven years ago. I don't know who has told you such a stretch of the truth. I just have seen him once, from away, and he still froze the blood in my veins. It was a long time ago, in India, in a village in the middle of the jungle. We the Brits were holding our position in front of the nation's advances until the Raven and his Echo Guards arrived. How do you think they have found us? We didn't emerge for three days. I've been at war too many years to still believe in coincidence. Did you analyze Shun's body? I believe I saw something. Something that didn't match the scene, right? He didn't die from bullet wounds. Lethal head injury. My suspicion, somebody attacked him from behind before the nation's boarding, and then shot the body to blend the murder with the other deaths. That night, he was on bridge duty, and mysteriously, servo radar stopped working. Someone in the crew is... You should discuss these matters with the captain. I am just a doctor. My patients are my mission. And right now, you're one of them. When do we start? It's ready. Let's begin. Focus. Tell me about the bridge. It's a bridge. In Paris, I believe. Mist surrounds me. I have a strange feeling, because there is someone else here with me. I have felt that very same presence before, at the island, before the Nautilus. Focus on it. Let yourself go. I'll try. It's difficult to focus. Everything began six months ago, the day of the wreck of the AES Annabelle Lee. Cedric's strange machine unleashed my memories, lightening the dark void of my stay at the island. The Annabelle Lee was my first assignment as a scientific officer at the American Empire Navy. In addition to the war's own menace, there was a rumor that a huge sea monster was around, sinking ships. Despite my skepticism, three weeks after our departure, in the dead of night, that rumor became a reality, by pouncing on our ship and in a matter of minutes wrecking us. By some miracle, I survived. Luckily, the currents brought me to the island. Later, I understood that my extraordinary journey started right there. Where am I? Oh God, the attack, the monster. That sea beast came out from beneath and rammed the Annabelle Lee, ripping apart the hull like a rotten fruit. Why is it so hard to recall? There's no sign of life. Maybe I will find someone inland. Oh, I need food. A petroglyph. It's ancient. It must mean something. An old letter. Seems to be written by an outcast. It must be important.
I need something to clear up this thicket. This place is a paradise, but not a soul around. I hope this island will not become my grave. There's something written on it. In this place, I arrived on September the 30th of... I cannot read the year. Another petroglyph. The symbols are different. A lift. A former inhabitant made it. I hope that if he is still around, he will be friendly. However, it's been a long time since this was built. It might work. If only I could find a tackle. I need a tackle to make it work. I need to break the lock. That's not useful now. There's a series of marks. It could be a calendar. If we take each of the small ones for a week, and the big ones for months... Oh dear! It's a whole life. I must find a shelter first. I'm safe. Not in bad shape. It could be a good shelter until somebody rescues me. These trees have fruits. And back there, there's a stream of water. Now I need to rest. Tomorrow, with a clear ahead, I will find how to fix it.
I spent two days completely alone. Despite that, the island was familiarly comfortable. It was a beautiful place. All my life, I dreamed about freedom and exploring the world. Maybe that was the way destiny had to give me the chance to fulfill my desire for adventure. What the hell? I wasn't wrong. I must find out what that light was. But the island has changed. What happened? An elephant and a balloon? What's going on here? They feel familiar. Maybe a dream. Edgar Allan Poe, Alexandre Dumas, Victor Hugo. Never heard these names before. How strange. They don't look like they have been dragged here by the sea. Where do they come from? What's going on here? Compagnie Parisienne d'Electricité? That can't be. How does a street light get here? And this writing desk? Again, it's weirdly familiar. That must be the light I saw. Wait a moment. There's something on the ground. The stick has a weird shape, almost like a key. What's this? A door? That wasn't here before. It's jammed. To activate the mechanism, I need the missing blocks. Could the petroglyphs be the answer? Another petroglyph. The symbols are different.
I need something more to fix this foot bridge. I need something that can help me. I need something that can help me. Now I have all the blocks for the door. Somebody wants me inside. What if it's a trap? Should I take the chance? However, I could probably find inside an explanation for what's going on. And of course, it's a much more solid shelter than a wood cabin. Holy Antikythera mechanism! What's this place? This hasn't been built by some castaway. Runes? Something enigmatic they hold. This gallery could lead into the centre of the earth. I'm trapped! I hope there's another way out. Mon Dieu! What's going on on this island? The Life and Incredible Adventures of Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Wait a moment. I remember that. I've read this book a dozen times. My God, the letters, the cabin. These are elements of that same story. Am I hallucinating? Wait a moment. There's a note here. What mystery is this? All the books have my name on them. But they're all blank. No titles. Yes! It's ancient Greek. The gift of Plasea will help you to change pieces of the world. Only if your imagination is as brilliant as her flame. What's this? It must be hundreds of years old. What? 
Good heavens! But what in the name of... B -b but here again? What's going on? Did this artifact do it? What is this? Wait a moment. The inscription. The gift of Plasea will help you to change pieces of the world. But maybe I could fix that with this devilish artifact. Fortunately, stones resisted and kept withstanding. must run away from this island. Maybe I could fix the boat with this devilish artifact. I'd rather face the dangers at sea than stay trapped in this madness. What the hell is going on? Hours later, while I was drifting away, my head still boiled with questions. I could never imagine that my salvation would come in the form of the monster that destroyed my own ship. Scared to death, I discovered a new truth. It was a monster, yes, but made of steel. I could never imagine that my salvation would come in the form of the monster that destroyed my own ship. What a tale! If I hadn't seen the iMag working with my own eyes, I would truly believe that you, as we doctors say, were as mad as a March Hare. Does something of this make any sense to you? Not at all. But it's not me who has to find it. However, it's obvious that everything, your hallucinations, your amnesia, the books, even the island, draws lines that link your mind with the iMag. Any clue of how we can fix that? Have you considered that your status inside the Nautilus could be the reason for your, let's say, disconnection? It must be hard for you to live together with the ones responsible for the attack that sank your ship. Months ago, I would have told you yes, and that I hated them for it. But I understood that war is war, and I must recognize, much to my regret, that the captain has opened for me the doors of an incredible world that without the Nautilus and his technology, I could never dream of reaching. Am I a prisoner? Well, there are much worse prisons out there. We're all trapped inside the Nautilus one way or another, my friend. A similar dilemma afflicts myself since I began to be part of this crew. I consecrated my career to save lives, and now I'm a piece of a ruthless war machine. On the other hand, my cholera research is only possible thanks to Nemo's technology. He's an extraordinary man, but fearful. His current condition is unsettling. History will judge him as it will do with us, and whoever writes it will park us in the place he believes we deserve. Now, go to your quarters and get some sleep. Doctor's orders.
Go to your quarters and get some sleep. Vern! I knew I'd find you here. How are you? What has the doctor said? I'm fine. I just need some... Oh, good. I'm afraid that it will have to wait. What happens? Ah, this never stops. Vern, I revised my notes. Maybe if we dig more into the ship that carried the chest and the compass, maybe we can find out another way to open it. Just in case the iMag doesn't work anymore. Not a bad idea. Oh, bloody... Oh, do me a favour. The captain keeps a very detailed record of the Greek ship's history. Please, take a look. See what you can find. I'm coming! I'm coming! Search into the closet. Look for the log. <laughs> I don't envy her job, that's for sure. Thank God. The elevators are still working. That's all the records we have about the Scylla, the Greek ship. But these are the same papers that... Wait, what does this mean? This note. Important info in audio cylinders 399, 244 and 219. Sub-Lieutenant Ned Land speaking. Documentation record regarding the Ancestor's Island. This is the place in which everything tells us that the flame of Hephaestus lies in. It's not only protected by those so-called ancestors, but also it's located at the center of a magnetic anomaly's area that drives navigation devices mad. And to make matters worse, the island is also surrounded by huge currents and fog banks, making it virtually unreachable. Who's this Ned Land? I can't recall that name in the crew. Sub-Lieutenant Ned Land speaking. Documentation record regarding the Compass of Destiny. According to our research, this compass, crafted with a mineral only found in the Ancestor's Island, always points to it as if it was its own north. This, combined with a coordinate system, was used by the few ships that still traded with the island. Nothing new, but what happened to this officer? I still have some stuff to do. Sub-Lieutenant Ned Land speaking. Documentation record regarding the flame of Hephaestus. In historical records and legends, it is told that the Atlantean people found in the Ancestor's Island an amazing energy, which they called the Flame of Hephaestus. Its implementation allowed them, in a few years, to develop unimaginable technology. It moved their ships and the gigantic machinery that built their city and harvested large crops. They also created a system of extraction. I must record this here. Today, I have found something that... It may change it all. I was with the communication system, routine maintenance, when I locked on a very strange signal. It, it sounded almost like a voice, but it was only noise. But, oh God, Captain has replied and they've been talking like he understood that horrible sound. It seemed like they were talking about picking up a load at a certain point of the Indian Ocean. And the Captain was constantly repeating a name, Vern. 
I haven't recognized the other voice, but I can't believe it. Nemo is not a traitor. I must confirm this before saying anything. We are about to dock at the secret base. If there's any evidence against Nemo, it will be there, in his office. I hope that they don't catch me, and that I'm wrong, too. What? What have I just heard? Was Nemo waiting for me in the middle of the sea? My brothers, I know you are afflicted. Shame fell on us, because we failed in our mission of capturing terrorist Nemo. I know, because I felt the same dishonor. But I have had an epiphany. We didn't suffer a defeat. Fate revealed our true mission in front of our eyes. The artifact is a prodigy that can change destiny. We have been spending our lives under the boot of politicians and bureaucrats of the Curie of the nation, those who just exist to fill their bellies at the expense of our blood. I say, let's take the artifact and forge a new world based on order and purity. Are you with me, brothers? Those days, my sanity felt like walking on a glass floor. I discovered that no one in the crew had ever heard talk about Officer Ned Land. If that was not enough, the recordings disappeared and left me with no other evidence of it than my damaged memory. Somebody was pulling the strings of my fate. What did they want from me? I had to find out before it was too late. I could just follow Ned Land's advice search into Nemo's office and bring the truth to light, whatever it was. I must leave my plans for breaking into Nemo's office for later. The captain and Edriel want to meet me. It's not the time to go back to the Nautilus. I still have things to do here. My first trip outside and it's inside of a dormant volcano in the middle of the ocean. Huh. I have to admit that Nemo has a talent for mise-en-scene. An old diver helmet from the first missions of the Nautilus. I've only seen them on paper. They look so much more rudimentary. I'm glad I have learned diving with the new ones. Mr. Vern! What obscure sea law have I transgressed now, Officer Turner? More than one, probably, but I don't want to talk about that, sir. I didn't have the time to show my gratitude for saving us from the nation. When we rescued you, I thought you were a spy. If it were up to me, I would have returned you to that boat and let the sea judge you. Oh, I'm glad you weren't the one who decided my fate. But look what you have achieved with the captain. Solved Placea's temple puzzles, found the compass of destiny, saving us from the raven himself. It feels like centuries ago since you came from that island. I'm glad that you are aboard, sir. Oh. Well, thank you. Each day it's harder to recall my past life. That's something we all share in here. Captain Nemo slowly absorbs our lives and blends them inside the Nautilus's steel. Officer, may I ask you something? How was your life before... before the Nautilus? 
You may laugh. I was the rich heiress of a steel mogul. I was destined to marry a rich husband. For years, my parents convinced me that I wasn't worthy of anything else. It's hard to believe, seeing you now. Like many others, war took everything away from me. At first I was paralyzed. I was unable to help anyone, only myself. But that girl at Battery Park, her parents were dead. She was wounded. I spent the night taking care of her, and I realized that I could make a difference. It was an epiphany. After that, I fought for many causes, and cried until I ran out of tears. When I was about to surrender, I met Captain Nemo and the Resistance. They bring sense to my struggle. By defeating the nation? Showing me that, together, we can change this corrupt world. Until I enrolled in the Nautilus, I was alone. The only thing I was doing was taking hits from waves, time and time again. Now, we are the rising tide. It doesn't feel really rising. Mr. Vern, don't be vulgar. Defeatism is not tolerated on board. We will prevail. Do you know where the captain is? I must see him. But I don't know this prodigious hideout. The captain and Edriel are in the meeting room. Go to the elevator, second floor on the left. Do I need an access card to move around the base? In the event that you need one, the captain will tell me about it. We are on alert. The use of them is now restricted. Oh, sure. The traitor. You may now leave, Mr. Vern. I have a lot of things to do. The captain and Edriel passed by here not too long ago. Go to the elevator, second floor on the left. Thank you, officer. You? It seems you have problems with whatever that is. It's an Illumia. Towers that distribute blue blood through the decks of the Nautilus. No, you can't help me. But thanks anyway. It's okay. I'll leave you working. The H capsule's ready. Vern! About time. I am sorry. It's my first time here. What do you want from me? Are the age capsules ready? Not completely. We still have to fit some details. But I'm sure that we will be able to gather the energy from the flame of Hephaestus and contain it to take it wherever it's most needed. You must be extremely careful. Yes, I know the story. It was the source of the power of the Atlantean Empire and also of its ominous destruction. You've told me that a dozen times. You must make sure that they will be ready when we dock at the Ancestor's Island. How much time will it take to the island? I don't know yet. Once we open the chest and the compass of destiny is installed in the Nautilus, we will know the route. If we get first to the island, the nation will not be able to follow us, right? Without the compass of destiny, it's impossible to get there. And what will happen if the iMac doesn't work anymore? How will we open the chest? I haven't found anything in the Scylla's log that could help us. The iMag will work! I am sick of waiting! Captain, your idea of using the blue blood to reactivate the iMag is unfounded. The reaction could end with all of us being... Enough! I don't want to hear you anymore! I'm fed up with you, with Cedric, with Vern. We must take radical action if we want to end the terror that is devastating the world! Please, Captain, calm down. You are not like this. I will not hear you, not even for a second! I am going to prepare the blue blood. If you aren't at the upper floor safe room in ten minutes, I will go and look personally for you wherever you are. It's the last lift. I give you my personal card. Edriel, what do we do? It's not very wise using- Mr. Vern, the captain has given you an order. There's nothing more to be said. I hope we don't blow up. 
I'm more worried about the flame of Hephaestus. I need you to analyze the only map of Ancestors Island to find the safest way to the flame. But this map is... Do it, Vern. I must go back to the Nautilus. Don't keep the captain waiting. But this map is weird. Mert. Obviously, it's closed. If I could get an access card... It doesn't work. Wait a moment. There's a note here. It's from land. At last, I found the way to break into Nemo's office. These stains, it's like they hide something written or drawn. A miniature of one of the Nautilus's rejected designs. In the end, he made the ship much more... aggressive. That's not useful now. I need something that can help me. If I get the blue lens, I'm sure that I will be able to read whatever is written here. Officer Land must have used these same lenses to write hidden messages on the map. I must find the blue lens first. I must hug. That's not useful now. That's not useful now. That's not useful now. These are numbers and access card combinations. I can forge one with the tools available at Akos's workplace. I had to take note of these codes. Yes!
never seen Nemo with a turban. He's always in uniform. Personal memories. Wait, here there are notes with the name Edriel on them. This bookcase is hiding something. Yes! <sighs> my headaches don't stop even for a minute. I believe my body rejects the ideas that lately boil inside my mind. I've conceived a god-awful plan to give the world a second chance. The war and the nation are going to end the future. Project H, as repugnant as it may sound, is the only way out for mankind. I am aware that if we take the flame and activate the aerial torpedoes, thousands of innocents will die, and I will have to carry on in my conscience with their deaths. But after the tragedy, a new and fairer world will thrive from it. I hope that that will ease my pain. Just like... It's cut off, but it can't be. His true objective is using my capsules to bomb the nation with the flame of Hephaestus. He wants to unleash a genocide. Oh my god, what am I going to do? I must stop him. How? What's this? A record of every member of the Nautilus crew since it was built. Here, no doubt, I will find information about Officer Land. But, but there's nothing here about any Ned Land. That can't be. M maybe it's been manipulated. No, it certainly doesn't seem to. Am I really losing my mind? I must get out of here and reach the safe room before the captain comes after me. I need something that can help me. About time, damn it! Maybe I could catch him by surprise. Put him down. No. Impossible. Look at these hands. He could rip out my head with them. And, and then the crew is here. No. It's not the time. I must wait. Sorry, Captain. I got lost. Give me the iMag. Here, I have a blue blood concentrated sample from the Nautilus. I am convinced that when it comes into contact with the small flame of Hephaestus that makes the iMag work, it will reactivate it. How did you jump into that theory? Excuse me? Your theory? By which evidences is it supported? I... <laughs> I simply know it. I've spent the last years studying the flame. It will work. Give me the iMag. No. Edriel thinks it could kill us all. Vern, I am giving you an order. Surrender the iMag. I don't have to take your orders. I'm not one of the crew. You are alive thanks to me. Give it to me! 
Um, Captain, with all due respects, are you all right? For a few days now, I've noticed that your behavior is getting more erratic. How dare you! I should throw you overboard for suggesting that... Sorry, Vern. I didn't mean... I am a bit upset, yes, but I can't avoid it. We are about to achieve our target and anything can go wrong. If everything comes out right, you will have in your hands an unimaginable power. Due to your condition, do you think it's wise to... Wow, what a human thing to say, Vern. How understanding of you. Do you want me to surrender the control over the flame? Who to? Somebody more centered? Somebody like you, with your hallucinations? Yes, I have my unresolved issues, but at least I have regard for human life. The nation has found us. God damn it! I must prepare the evacuation. We need to carry the blue blood with us. Adriel thinks it's vital to find the flame. Take it to the Nautilus, but be careful. It's highly unstable. Use the chemical compounds on the table to stabilize it. But this card will give you access to the emergency hatches and all the doors. When the blood is stabilized, run to the Nautilus. I need something that can help me. Soldiers! I must hide. Look everywhere. I want Vern and I want him alive. Do you hear me? If I see even a little scratch on him, the person responsible will answer before me. Merit, it's Bloody Raven again. I must pass unseen.
Here he is. Take it. Yeah, man. What the hell? Damn it to hell. Faster. It works. Get rid of this debris. Burn. You chose the wrong side. Join me. Forget Nemo. His days of piracy are over. I will never work for murderers. Listen. Come with me. I give you my word as an officer and a gentleman that you will have everything you can desire to make your research about the artifact and the flame of Hephaestus. We can change the world together. Lately, I've heard too many times the words change the world to still believe in them. Good luck with it. Vern! Vern! I will find you! I swear it! Faster! Akos! Good heavens! Wait a minute. I'm sure the Illumium will be important. Akos protected the repaired Illumium with his own body. I need something that can help me. Matt. I need something that can help me. Mon dieu! Merde! 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 Before escaping, they left the emergency hatch open. The cannon overheated and took a bit longer to spew its deadly charge, impacting a few seconds later. I need something that can help me. The coldness Nemo displayed when he sacrificed his sanctuary shocked me. The iMag returned to life. Why? Was it because of my finding out about Nemo? The horror that the Raven inspired in me? All these questions throng inside my head, unanswered. But one of them tortured me. How could a bookworm like me stop the most intelligent and boldest man in Hemera? Come on! Come on! Open it! Incroyable! 
You were right, Edriel. That's true. The force of imagination has... Nothing will stop us now! We have it! At last, the flame of Hephaestus will be in our hands! The nation is living on borrowed time! Take it to Nadine. She must readjust the servo radars and the Nautilus's navigation system to integrate the compass of destiny. Vern, take the iMag to the safe chamber. The captain. I must apologize for earlier. I crossed the line. Go and rest. You deserve it. The Ancestor's Island is waiting for us. Y yes Captain. Nemo still seemed to trust me. However, despite his good manners, I couldn't avoid looking at him as a murderer. When I met him, I got to admire him. His scientific genius was brilliant. I should speak with Nemo before. I don't want to seem impolite. Nemo and his philosophy books. Schopenhauer. It's a shame that the nation killed him because of his ideas. This katana was a gift from the Empire of the Rising Sun to the captain for his aid against the nation. Mr. Vern, I am glad to see you in better shape. Thanks, Captain. I've been here only for a few days, and I'm still getting used to this... marvel. I'm glad you like it. I've been thinking. The Atlantean priests from Placea's cult believed that there were individuals blessed by her who were more sensitive to her influx. Perhaps you are one of them, and that's why you were able to find the artifact of imagination. Atlantis? I thought that was a myth, a tale for children. You have had evidence of their existence in your hands. How do you make it work? <laughs> I'm not sure that I make the iMac work. Rather, I would say it reacts to events. That's interesting. Do you fancy an underwater walk? I have a job for you. A walk? Under the sea? Of course. Where are you taking me, Captain? I can see ruins in the distance. You are going to witness a great milestone of my journey. Follow me. The steam oxygenator of my back allows normal breathing. Lead soles keep me on the ground, but they slow me down. But these views are so captivating. Cedric has asked us to find some specific algae for his research. I don't know if I could even recognize them with this helmet on. My goodness! She's a beauty, isn't it? Really impressive! That pearl must be worth a fortune. Do you want to take it? No. I just wanted to show it to you. Who are we to interrupt a life cycle that has been growing for years, creating layers with each secretion it produces? Why? To sell the pearl? To write a book about the discovery? By chance, is our fame more important than nature itself? Let's move. Algae filium cromosa. I hope you helped Cedric with the vaccine. I should speak with Nemo before. Can you feel the heat rising from underground? We must move carefully. Lava is still flowing among the ruins. Where are we, Captain? You are beholding the remains of a pre-Hellenic temple 
dedicated to Placea, the Atlantean goddess. What? We spotted it months ago. This cult survived the fall of Atlantis and thrived for a few years in the primeval Greece. In their mythology, they linked together the flame of Hephaestus with Placea. We believe there might be hidden information here about the flame location. Believe? Didn't you enter? We explored it for weeks in order to make a safe way to the center of the temple. However, when we reached the doors that guard it, it was impossible for us to open them. I'm surprised that you didn't blow them away. Do you think that I am like one of these brutes from the nation? I never destroy what I don't know. This temple is unique. It must be preserved, not destroyed. At that moment, we couldn't stay any longer. The Nautilus was needed for the war many miles away from here. But now is different. You and the iMag are here. Fascinating. It's amazingly terrifying. True. In some cultures, the octopus and its tentacles are linked with the spiral of creation and creativity. Fascinating. I'm going forward. Take your time to contemplate this wonder. I'll wait at the Opisthotomus entrance. Follow the lifeline. The wire has been cut by the nibbling of some sea creature. If I had the tools, it would be easy to repair. This ancient Greek tests my knowledge, but I can read that this is the first part of three of the Primordials' story. from Nemo and his crew. I'm the first human being that has rested his eyes on these views in thousands of years. If only I could explore them. tanks. Vern, are you
you all right? Yes, a bit frightened, but in one piece. The iMag is outside. Yes, but it has turned off. There must be a way to activate again this mechanism. Wait a moment. There's an inscription here. Four victories to open these gates. It must allude to four tests. You have enough oxygen. Explore the hall and take the tests. I am sure that they will reveal what we are looking for. But what if I don't make it? And if I run out of oxygen? Mr. Vern, surrender is not an option at the Nautilus. We can't tear down these gates without compromising the whole building structure. Your only way out is solving those trials. I believe in you. I've found a new inscription. To open the forge of Hephaestus, you must fire up its four flames. It must allude to the four doors in front of me. Forge of Hephaestus? Mr. Vern, we are on the right path. Go on. I feel heavy in this wetsuit, and it begins to be hard to breathe. You are making a great effort in your first underwater walk. Did I tell you when I faced the Kraken? Don't patronize me. It makes me sick. I enter the first door. What did you see inside? Wonderful things. Great description. A volcano on an island. Hephaestus's place, I guess. It reminds me of Prometheus's tale. The one who stole fire from the gods to favor mankind. Nevertheless, here is Placia. The one that steals the flame. This is Placea's myth. We don't know for sure what Atlanteans believe in, but the descriptions that have made it to us associate the flame of Hephaestus with Placea's ability of arousing imagination, being that the origin of Atlanteans' great power. Arouse imagination? You mean like muses do? Exactly. A labyrinth. I must rotate it to link the lines with the flame. The first trial is completed. A liquid has appeared on the walls. It looks like the Nautilus's blue blood. What I'd give to see what you are seeing. Make haste. Oxygen is not endless. Your paternalism will suit me quite well now. Tell me about the Kraken. I made it up. Krakens aren't real. From what I see and understand from these inscriptions, Placea ventured inside the forge of Hephaestus and managed to get his great flame. With its power, she expected to free mankind, providing them with the gift of imagination.
Okay. The goddess spreads out what seems to be the energy rays, like the sun. But being a woman, she's related to the moon and her creative power. Thus, the answer to this enigma must be related to the moon cycle. Each one must mark a ray extension. I hope that means something to you. What's the word for victory in Hindi? Vijay. Saya diced with death for us, facing ruthless creatures released by Hephaestus to stop her. I don't have a good feeling about this, but I can't see any other way out. After receiving the flame, mankind began to benefit from the power of imagination almost immediately. The jealous gods realized that it couldn't be taken back from them. So, to shift the balance back in their favor, they resolved to release fear to weaken them, strengthening the horrors that already dwelled amongst the human race. It must allude to Phobos, Placea's brother. Creative and destructive imagination, hope and fear. The last mural depicts a huge flame devouring a city.
Now I see a mural of a great snake biting its own tail. It seems I have to decode some symbols. Hmm. The tail-biting snake is an Ouroboros. It symbolizes the cyclical nature of the world. The eternal return. The wheel of creation and destruction in which mankind lives. You must see this! In this signaled place rests the flame of Hephaestus, power, and also the curse of Atlantis. Only those blessed with the compass of destiny will be able to navigate the horrible dangers that surround the island of the ancestors, last guardians of the divine flame. The compass of destiny? Of course, an X on the map was way too easy. It seems that the journey will be prolonged more than I planned, but you have made a wonderful discovery. Can I count you in for the remaining voyage? Nemo, from what I've just seen, it's just the beginning of it. You can count me in. I want to see the rest. Fantastic. Come on, adventure waits for us. Legends about the Ancestors' Island spoke of an area filled with magnetic disturbances and violent currents surrounding it, making it unreachable to those who weren't guided by the compass of destiny. For months, we sailed the seven seas, looking for clues about that fantastic artifact. The first solid sign was found at the nameless city, buried under the sands of Arabia. Thanks to it, we could reach a manifesto, written in the year 246 before our era, with the name of the ships that had engaged trade with the ancestors and therefore carried the compass of destiny on board. Those months of exploration were the most fascinating times I've had the luck to experience so far. How everything has changed since then. Must stop Nemo, whatever it takes. Maybe I can win some time by sabotaging the Nautilus. It's already ruined. Nobody will be suspicious of me, I hope.
best approach is going for the most damaged system. If I find Maddie, maybe I can get a clue. She knows everything going on inside this prison. These pipes will not fix themselves. I can't be with you now. I still can't decode Nemo's technology to send messages under the ocean. I still have some stuff to do. It's not the time for a sea trek. It's not the time for a sea trek. <laughs> it's me! It's me! Vern! Sorry, Vern. We're on edge. Don't worry about me. I understand. How are the reparations going? It's slow. Oxy recyclers are the worst part, but Sunni is on them. The most critical issue now is finding that damn traitorous rat. And where is Sunni? Why do you ask? Um, I just wanted to offer my help. You don't distrust me, do you? Mm. Right now, I distrust everybody. I feel we are losing control of the situation. That's because you have been lucky enough to not have lived through the harshness of war. All of us are marked with brutal scars, inside and out. But you? <sighs> Go back to your quarters and let us work. Go back to your quarters and let us work. Although recognizing it brings me chills, Nemo's mind is astonishing. The design of these suits looks like something from a fantasy. The Oxy Recyclers are on deck too, but before I must find Suni to grant me access. The doctor has put on a don't disturb sign. Mon 
Dieu, the riches he amasses are spectacular. Ultimately, Nemo is a man, and his heart beats when faced with the power of wealth. Did you check the readings again? Yes, ma'am. Three times. Quality of air is at its absolute minimum. I repair the oxy recyclers as best as I have been able, but they are still producing monoxide. Are you sure, officer? The air feels as usual. Ma'am, I have thoroughly created this environmental management system by myself, and I certainly know when it works and when it doesn't. That last attack has fatally wounded it. Will it withstand to the island? Yeah but it would be mandatory to emerge more times to recycle air. The captain is ordered to keep surfacing to the minimum until we reach the island. Do whatever you can to keep them operational. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. Thanks. I'll be at the bridge. Keep me informed. Vern, shouldn't you be checking the capsules? Uh, yes, that's right. Hi, Petrov. How are the reparations going? Toverich, Vern. Bad and worst. You should help Sonny with the air. Yes. Yes. I'll talk to her. Tell the little one that later I'll help her with whatever she needs. Hello, Sunny. Maddie told me you were struggling with oxy recyclers. I learned a lot the last time I helped you. Do you need me? No! No one but me can touch my oxy recyclers! God, stop distracting me! Look, Vern, I appreciate your offer, but I don't need your or anyone else's help. Leave me alone, please! Vern, if you are idle, ask Edriel if you can help with something. God, they're losing their minds. If I manage to sabotage the oxy recyclers, I will slow them down. Nadine, she's the only one that can grant me access. I hope she didn't get infected by this collective madness. If I draw the eye mag, Nemo will see the alert. It isn't worth the risk. I can't do more. How long will it take to get to the island? <laughs> Let me think. Navigate through an area where no instrument works properly, where you can't never see the stars because of the thick fog, and where we rely on a fucking stone to keep us alive. It will be a miracle if we don't end at the sea bottom. The most sensitive thing to do would be... There's no time. The nation is hot on our trail. Well, I can't assure you we don't end in a submarine ditch. That's a risk we face daily on this ship. You have your orders, follow them. Vern, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be checking the capsules? Uh, yes, sure. The thing is that I need Nadine to grant me access to the... Star Sea, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's right. Very well, go on. Thanks for watching my back. You're welcome. 
I can't stand Adriel, walking around like she had a stick stuck up into her ass. <laughs> I'm exhausted. The milieu here is quite tense. Even Nemo seems deranged to me. Nemo was already deranged. Look at the Nautilus. <laughs> Something tells me you are chewing the fat. What do you want? Me? Uh, well, I need access granted to the oxyrecyclers. You have already discovered Project H, haven't you? Yes. Nemo must be stopped, at any cost. If we destroy the oxys, we will win time to think of a solution. Being caught by the nation doesn't bother you? One problem after another. Please, will you help me? You can count on me. Really? Seeing that you are different from the rest of the crew is a relief. I haven't slept for months because of that dreadful Project H. Everyone else accepted it without a second thought. It's a living nightmare. I'm so glad I have finally found an ally. And even more if it's you. Braving Nemo will not be easy. Are you ready? I was born ready. You know I'm a curious bird, right? Well, one day I was nosing around personal files and I discovered that months before I was recruited by the Nautilus, Nemo wrecked the AES constellation, a ship crowded with civilians. Nemo attacked innocent people? According to him, the American Empire often uses refugees as human shields. How horrible. I've been witnessing captains drifting for months. Each day he gets more deranged. He always has been a passionate man, but he has turned into a monster. We must stop him for the sake of everyone, including himself. Let's do it. Grant me access to the Oxys. I will sabotage them. That will keep them busy, and we will have our chance of taking care of the capsules. I will defuse them. Then we open the water gates and let the sea decide. Cool. I will prepare the Ixure to run off. That miniature exploration submarine? They will catch us in ten minutes. I will block the rudder to prevent them from chasing us. See you at the Ictio dock in 30 minutes. I have unlocked the access to the main oxy next to the kitchen. Hurry up! Salut, Monsieur Verne. Would you fancy? No, thanks. I was just passing by. <sighs> thanks for recovering the aluminum from Akos. We have power in these quarters thanks to him. I wish I could have saved Akos. But I arrived too late. A toast for Akos. May he be in a better place. Yes! If I pull the filter, that will produce a discharge that will nullify the whole recycling system. I'm glad of having paid attention to what Suni does through all these months. Though it was easy. She only talks about her job.
I must get out of here! Vern! What the hell has happened? I don't know. I was passing by and heard the explosion. Goddamn traitor is going to kill us all! Did you see someone? No! <coughs> Nadine, we must emerge. I don't care what the captain said. If we don't surface right now, we will die from asphyxiation. Now that they are all busy, I have my chance of sabotaging the capsules. If I can overheat the circuits, they will render the capsules useless and can be safely thrown into the sea. Nadine! What are you doing here? We agreed to meet at the Ictio. Don't you realize yet? What? I got you on the Opta recorders while manipulating the Oxys. Sorry for cheating you, but war is war. Mon Dieu! You are the traitor! B but why? Do you remember the constellation? The ship crowded with refugees that Nemo wrecked? The same. My parents and siblings were among those refugees. How can you betray us to the nation? The nation is war! Vern, I'm sick. I can't stand being locked in here anymore. All these years, what have been good for? We achieved nothing. Only betrayal and death. It's time to try something else. Look at France. She's way better under the nation's rule. Economy, security, technology. At the expense of turning every human being into a slave. Spare your speeches. The sooner the nation gets the flame, the sooner the war will end and also the nonsensical death. Like my own family. No one is going to believe you. This room is filled with opto recorders. Yes, that's true, but none of them works. You know, the attack. All in all, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. Here, Captain, I have the traitor. Is that true, Mr. Vern? No, I am not a traitor. She works for the nation. That's preposterous. Let me kill all him, Captain. Why, Vern? Why did you do that? Project H. I found out about it in your office at the base. You shouldn't. You are sick. We live in a sick world. It's not a time of shades of gray. Project H is radical, but from its ashes, a fairer and more peaceful world will thrive. And what gives you the right to take that decision? I'm not going to argue with you, Vern. Under normal circumstances, you would already be dead but I need the item. I will not help you. Do you think I have never heard these same words before? I have methods to help you change your mind. Captain, your presence is requested at the bridge. Petrov, lock him in his quarters. A few days of isolation will help him to reconsider his options. And lock Nadine in Captain. the holding cell. Petrov, don't listen to him. Nemo wants to... <sighs> Days passed without meeting the captain, but I could hear him. The violence he displayed while playing gave me a hint of how madness was overtaking him. As we were getting closer to the flame, it was more and more obvious. There was barely anything left of the Nemo I used to know and admire. Finally, after navigating through the turbulence area, we reached Ancestor's Island. I wasn't prepared at all for what I was about to meet there.
must get out of here, and before the captain comes after me. This is a nightmare! I must get out of here! I must find another way out. Again? The Valkyria has found us! Perfect! It's my way out ticket. But the iMag is inside the safe room. I must... Wait a minute. Am I having a deja vu? Mon dieu! Merde! What happened? Why am I not dead? This damn bridge again! Jewels, your mother and I are deeply disappointed with you. Your preposterous pretension of becoming a writer and your incessant failures are transforming the good name of Vern Alot into a joke among respectable people. We have resolved to give you an ultimatum. If, by the end of the year, you don't have an honorable job, we will feel that we only have four sons, not five. Pierre and Sophie. Th th this letter, I have read it before. But me, a writer? Mon dieu, merde! Has it that color? God. God. What the hell is going on? Have I finally turned insane? This light. Oh, my head is killing me. But I must continue. I can't allow neither Nemo nor the Raven to take over the flame. I must stop them. But what can I do? I know. I will look for the ancestors. They will know what to do. Maybe. Nadine! God, will there be any survivor? Nemo! <coughs> oh, Vern! Glad to see you. What happened to you? Where are the others? Dead. All dead, damn it. My understanding was that good captains always sank with their ships. 
My crew is dead because of me. My Nautilus, wrecking. No, Vern, I haven't been a good captain at all. However, abandoning the ship was not my idea. An explosion put me down and currents dragged me here. A part of me wants to help you, but the other wants to leave you here, alone with your grief. Tell me, what would you do in my place? That Project H monstrosity would deserve you. Project H? I knew it was infamous, but something inside me kept me moving forward. It was a dreadful solution, yes, but it was perfect. Almost divine. A complete purification. By all gods, Vern, you must believe me. Only a soul sickened by Fear and anger would brew something as heinous as Project H. When I saw my wife and my daughter dying by the hands of the nation, I... I could do nothing to save them. They fade in my arms. I took revenge, yes. With my own hands, I cut the throat of the captain that gave the execution order. But... I have never been able to get rid of the horror of my own helplessness. And now, my Nautilus, my crew, it's all destroyed. You have opened Pandora's box, Captain. You have brought the flame to the nation's fingertips. You have sentenced mankind. I deserve all your disdains. But let me ask you for a last favor. The iMac. Me and the Nautilus have enough strength to bow out in a blaze of glory. Help me to board back, and I will make sure that the Valkyrie will never take the flame away. By yourself? Are you insane? Maybe. After all, I am Captain Nemo. Let me help you. Save the world. Will that be enough? <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> no, I can by myself. I'm sorry that everything has come to this end. In another world, Everything would have been different, better. It has been an honor, Jules Fern. Thanks, Captain. Have a safe journey. God. The box resists the wreck and kept withstanding. Again, 
Am I hallucinating? Oh no, destruction once more. It doesn't seem anybody has lived here for centuries. Vern, at last. You are alive. Stop there. I won't let you or the Raven even get close to the flame. Vern, listen to me. I'm on your side. Forget about the Raven and Nemo's plans. There's something much more important at stake. I don't want to hear your reasons. You and Nemo are nothing but murder... <laughs> But what the hell? What was that? Your mind is collapsing. M my mind? What are you talking about? Adriel! <laughs> Paris in the 20th century, written by Jules Verne? That's impossible. I would have given anything for not telling you what I am about to say. This book is very, way very inferior to Five Weeks in a Balloon. If you came to read it within a year, you would agree with me. These words, I've heard them before. To sum it all up, it's a failure. And if 1,000 men told me the opposite, I would tell them to get lost. Nobody will believe today in your prophecies and nobody will be interested in them. It's signed by Pierre Jules Hetzel. These are the words of your editor. Now, now I remember the rejection, the pain. I know them. That same pain is the reason why you have been brought to this world. You were trapped inside your imagination. What? But, but, who are you? I am yourself. But inside this very world you have created. I was called Placia a long time ago. Impossible! What are you talking about? Is this one of Nemo's rigs? Ah! My head! We're running out of time. You must listen to me. You are not Jules Verne, the scientist. That's not your real identity. Shut up! Think! Focus! You know you are not from this world. At this very same moment, you are at the Bridge of Ardennes, in Paris. You are about to destroy the last book written by you. What feels like six months to you in your world has been nothing more than 20 seconds. Unconsciously, when you received Hetzel's rejection, you searched for shelter inside you. Who could blame you? You have such magnificent imagination that you have created a world we know as Hemera. Nevertheless, it was fear or Phobos. That was the reason that impelled you to hide in Hemera, and you gave him full powers over your mind. He gave you the paradise that you would never want to leave. Since you arrived here, to that idyllic island after the wreck. I have been trying to leave you a trail of breadcrumbs to carefully drive you to the truth. A too straight or too early revelation could destroy your sanity, but I can't afford subtleness anymore. Phobos, through Raven, is about to get his hands on the flame. All things beautiful and extraordinary you have ever imagined will be obliterated and turned into an infinite wasteland. That is insane. If this is a fantasy, 
Why can't I just wake up? Because in order to do it, you need the flame. It's a portal to your world. If Phobos takes control over it, you will be trapped here forever, in your world. You will turn insane, and you don't have much time left. Where are we? I'm not sure I can take any more jumps. It's one of the main conduits that directly connects with the flame. It will lead us to the Raven himself. We must finish him. Let's go inside. From this point, let's keep silence. Our voices may echo through the whole pipeline network. Strange inscription. Man. Something I can't get out of my mind. What were you doing with Nemo and his crew of fanatics? Did he know your true nature? No. I am what you would call a muse. Years ago, I met young Nemo. I saw his potential and started telling him about Atlantis and everything the sea could offer. So, if you are a muse, did you inspire him to create Project H? No, my brother is also a muse. Anyone who's afraid or is consumed by anger is likely to be influenced by him. I inspired him to create the Nautilus. When I found out that he made it real, I joined him, since it was my chance of releasing the flame. Release the flame? What for? To weaken Phobos, after so many disappointments and fear. My sibling has achieved a great deal of power over Hemera. He also wants it to subdue us all, yourself included. And why didn't you take the flame by yourself in the first place? Without the compass and Nemo's technology, for years the flame has been out of reach for everyone. What's your story? What did I imagine for you? My nature is to inspire mankind to generate progress and changes in the world. But, with the passage of centuries, I learnt it was better to go unnoticed. What do you mean? In the 14th century, a sultan found out about me and kept me locked inside a tower for ten years, bearing in mind that I would inspire his armies to create new ways of defeating his enemies. And did you? No. It took a great effort for me, but I averted it for ten years. Each night I used to tell him a story so interesting 
that it kept him up all night. So the next morning he wasn't in the mood for work. After ten years, I put an end to the war. So, you made him dream to forget. That's what we dream for, don't we? How did you allow Nemo to carry on with the crimes he has committed? I have struggled for years to keep him away from Phobos' influence, but as my brother gained power, I was losing the captain. All these years, I have repressed so many tears. I must learn to live with those ghosts. Let's keep silent. We're getting closer. Why are you stopping? Master, the cave is almost collapsing. Will you let a bunch of rocks dishonor you? Huh? No, Master. Never. Faster! Get rid of this debris! These must be them. I believe they are at the pipe below. Both of us will make too much noise. Wait here. Phobos must be with him. Be careful. If you die in this world, you will never return to yours. I will keep it in mind. Be careful, too, even if you are a goddess. What's this place? Inside a dormant volcano in the middle of the ocean. Wonderful.
stones fell violently from the highest part of the tunnel, warning the guards. What's that? Everything's over, damn raven! Van! Monsieur Van, at last! Brothers, lower your guns! If you are trying to look kind to me, I don't think it will work. I would never use flattery with you. It would be an insult to your wit. I want to share with you my vision of a better new world. <laughs> I'm not interested in your delusions of grandeur. You're blinded by the present, Van! Forget about now! Think about the future, you and I. We are special, superior, united under the power of the artifact. We can rebuild the world. No more nation, no more empires, no more wars. It's the same you dream with, isn't it? I doubt that the world you dream of resembles mine. You are a monster. You disappoint me. With or without you, I will find the way to make the iMag work. We will have fun in the torture chamber. Take him! Now the Nautilus is yours forever. Enjoy it. Yeah. Jules, did you find him? Are you all right? Yes. The Raven is not our worry anymore. And Phobos? Not a sign. Can I use the iMac to open this? I'm afraid that this time it won't be that easy. Luckily, we have this. Concentrated blue blood from the Nautilus. I need something that can help me. As soon as it has come into contact, the blue blood has activated. Use the controls. Go inside.
absolutely marvelous. Hello, little sister. Thanks for opening that door for me. Phobos, Vern, activate! <laughs> Excuse me for using this rules with you, but I need you to listen to me, Vern. What the? You are the shadow on the bridge! Placea, you must accept your defeat and stop confusing Vern with Liberty Dreams out of his reach. She didn't show you the whole picture. I am the fear that inhabits inside your mind, yes, but I don't want its destruction. The only reason of my existence is protecting us from pain. How is it that you still don't understand that you'll be happier with me, here, than on the outside, in a world that doesn't love nor understand you? Don't listen to him. He wants to corrupt your imagination. That's untrue. I just want the best for him. You came to this world looking for protection from reality, fleeing from failure and shame, because you knew that here you would find everything you always craved for. Adventures, mysteries, extraordinary journeys. Why do you want to return to your world? Here, you can be happy forever. I can do it, and I just need one thing to achieve it. Destroy the iMac. What? Quit your impossible rider dreams. Destroy the iMag. Give me the control of your world, and you will never feel pain or rejection again. No. I don't want to hide. Now that I've seen what I can create, I want to show it to the world. At all costs. Grr, that is delusional. I can't allow you to suffer. I don't want more pain. We must protect ourselves. If you don't want an eternal paradise, I will drown you in a grayish terror that will make you want to keep your head inside a hole in the ground. You will live the rest of your days working as an accountant for the nation's factories. Don't try to resist. You are just a sad scribbler with a head filled with preposterous predictions. Yes, that is what I am. What I always wanted to be. Better than a coward who hides from himself. All right. The hard way, then. I will turn the flame of Hephaestus with my imagination. I will write the end to this story of yours, of the Imag, Placea, and the Nautilus. The nation will prevail forever inside your mind. Then, I hope you like smoke and ashes. Control has faded. We're free. Why don't you open it? If my predictions seem preposterous to you, don't read my books. I'm glad that despite your criticism, you record my theories regarding Atlantean mythology. That thing you came out with about sand and rust was catchy. I made the guess that if the iMag is my creative imagination catalyst, when coming into contact with destructive imagination, it should annul it. Luckily enough, it worked. Has Phobos disappeared forever? Not quite. Fear is terrible, but sometimes it's necessary. What has vanished is Phobos's control over your mind. You are finally free from him. Thanks, Jules, for saving us. I wish I could stay. May I see you again? We are inside you. Always will be. We are the shape of fantasy. It's time to go back home. Hiding from reality only nurtures fear, and our only chance to defeat it is our hope, the ability to imagine a better world. I had to take note 
of all these events before they were lost and deformed by the treacherous currents of my memory. And here I am, back into my world, the real world. This letter, it must be important. Vern, we need your help at Hemmer. The Nautilus is plowing through waters again, and Cedric has finally found a vaccine that we must deliver to the whole world. Signed, E. Oh my God, but how? 